Science and Health. Healthy Discoveries. Birds Around the World. Birds Around the World. Table of Contents. Chapter 1. Meet the Birds. 4. Chapter 2. Birds in Tropical Rainforests. 10. Chapter 3. Desert Dwellers. 14. Chapter 4. Watery Lifestyles. 18. Chapter 5. Forest Birds. 22. Chapter 6. Hundreds of Habitats. 26. Glossary. 29. Chapter 1. Meet the Birds. Look up in a tree. Do you see a small animal perched on two legs? Does it have a beak and wings? Does it have feathers? If you answered yes, you are looking at one of Earth's most amazing animals, a bird. About 10,000 different kinds of birds live on our planet and they come in all shapes and sizes. The smallest is the bee hummingbird. It's just over two inches long and weighs about as much as a paperclip. The largest living bird is the ostrich. It can grow to be nine feet tall and weigh more than 300 pounds. That's more than a refrigerator. Whether they are tiny or tall, birds have many things in common. For example, all birds are warm-blooded just like humans. That means they have the same body temperature all the time, whether it's hot or cold in their environment. And all birds have feathers, which help keep them warm in cold weather. In fact, birds are the only animal on Earth living today that have feathers. All birds hatch from eggs with hard outer shells, but some bird mothers lay their eggs in nests and others lay them in holes or even on the ground. Then the mother bird, or sometimes the father bird, will keep the eggs warm until they hatch. Not all birds can fly, but they all have wings and they all have beaks too. Birds use their beaks to get food, build nests, and fight off enemies. The shape of a bird's beak helps it eat its favorite food. Eagles have sharp curved beaks that help them catch and eat fish. Cardinals have cone-shaped beaks that are perfect for cracking open seeds. Because of the wings and feathers that give them flight, Birds live in almost every area on Earth. But have you ever wondered why birds are different in different places? The answer is adaptation. An adaptation is something that helps an animal or plant live in its own special place. Birds have many adaptations that allow them to survive and thrive wherever they are in the world. Let's take a closer look. Bird beaks. Birds have different kinds of beaks for eating different kinds of foods. Here are some of them. This beak is good for catching insects. This beak is good for drinking from flowers. This beak is good for eating fruit. Chapter 2. Birds in Tropical Rainforests. The place where an animal or plant lives is called a habitat. Birds live in almost every habitat on our planet, from the hot desert to the frozen ice caps. And there is one kind of place where there are thousands of different kinds of birds, the tropical rainforest. The warm, rainy, and tree-filled tropical rainforests have more different kinds of animals and plants than any other land habitat. Meet the colorful macaw, one of the largest members of the parrot family. There are at least 16 different kinds of macaws, but most live in the tropical rainforests of Mexico, 
Central America, and South America. Known for their brightly colored feathers and for being smart, macaws have other important adaptations that help them live in these forests. Macaws are very social birds and live together in groups. This isn't just because they like the company, they help each other by watching out for enemies. But in a big, dense forest where one tree can look just like another, it's easy to get separated from the group. So it's a good thing that a macaw has its noisy call. A macaw's loud squawks and screams can be heard from over a mile away. This adaptation helps the birds find each other and stay together in the forest. Another macaw adaptation is its large hooked beak. Macaws eat fruits, nuts, and seeds, but those are often covered by tough, thick shells. This is not a problem for the clever macaw. They use their hard beaks to crack or rip open this tricky packaging to get at the food inside. But it's not only a macaw's beak that is designed for its diet, its feet are useful too. With two toes pointing forward and two toes pointing backward, macaw feet can easily grasp and handle fruits and nuts. Chapter three, desert dwellers. The largest bird in the world is the ostrich. Ostriches live only in Africa. This can be a harsh home for a big bird. It can be incredibly hot, and food and water can be hard to find. Hungry lions, hyenas, and other predators prowl the land in search of prey. And to make matters worse, ostriches can't even fly. The bird is so big that it would need gigantic wings to lift it off of the ground. So how does an ostrich survive in such tough conditions? One adaptation that helps is the ostrich's size. The enormous birds are just too big for smaller predators to kill and eat. Ostriches also are super speedy. They can run as fast as 43 miles per hour. That's faster than most birds can fly. Luckily, that's quick enough to outrun most danger. And if a lion does get close, the bird can kick it away with its long, strong legs. Another helpful adaptation. There are other adaptations that allow ostriches to live in the deserts and savannas of Africa. Thick pads on their feet protect them from hot, rough ground, and two sets of eyelids keep sand out of their eyes. Ostriches will eat almost anything. Seeds, grass, insects, and lizards are all part of the ostrich diet. Though ostriches drink water when they can find it, they don't need much to survive. Unlike most birds, ostriches can get enough water from the food they eat. Chapter four watery lifestyles. With its pink coloring, long legs, and curving neck, the flamingo is an easy bird to spot. You're most likely to find them near large, salty lagoons and lakes. These watery habitats are their home because that's where they find their favorite food. Flamingos are social birds that live together in flocks, ranging from just a few to tens of thousands of birds. Flamingos eat tiny plants and animals that live in the water. Lucky for them, their long, thin legs are perfectly adapted for wading as they fish for food, even in deeper areas. The water can be salty, but that's not a problem for flamingos. They have a special body part in their beaks that helps them get rid of the salt they drink. The flamingo's most incredible adaptation may be its flat, curved beak. Why is it shaped this way? Because when a flamingo eats, it plunges its head into the water, turns it upside down, and swishes it from side to side. Its beak 
acts like a scoop for food beneath the surface. Then, the bird somehow pushes the water and mud out of its beak while it keeps the seafood in. The penguin is a bird that looks a little like a very short man in a suit and tie, but you rarely see these birds on land. Penguins spend most of their lives in the ocean, but they come to land to raise their young and to rest. But that's not all that makes them different from other birds. Like ostriches, penguins do not fly. They use their wings to help them swim instead so the wings are shaped like small paddles. Penguins can swim faster than any other bird. Why do they need to swim so fast? To catch fish. Penguins also hunt for and eat crabs, squid, shrimp, and other sea animals. A penguin's thick coat of feathers helps it slip through water easily. And penguins have a special body part near their tails that makes oil to cover their feathers. This helps keep cold water out so the birds can stay warm. Chapter 5 Forest Birds The rat a tat tat of a woodpecker on a tree is familiar to many people. Many woodpeckers live in forest habitats. Like macaws, they have feet with two toes pointing forward and two pointing back. This adaptation helps them hold on to the sides of trees, and their tail feathers, which are long and stiff, can be used like another leg to keep the woodpecker steady on a tree trunk. Woodpeckers use their beaks to dig into tree bark and wood. But just what are they digging for? Most woodpeckers are pecking away to find insects. Many beetles lay their eggs in trees, and then the eggs hatch into juicy, fat grubs. Though woodpeckers like to eat many kinds of insects, grubs are their favorite feast. Woodpeckers have one adaptation that no other birds have. They drum. A male finds a hollow tree, then pounds its beak against it. This makes a noise so loud that it carries through the forest. This attracts female woodpeckers. Males also drum to tell other woodpeckers, this is my home, stay away. Woodpeckers are very important birds. Why? Because they use their beaks to carve out holes for their homes and nests. But they don't use all of the holes they make so other kinds of forest birds can move in. Chapter 6. Hundreds of Habitats You've just learned about some birds and their habitats. But did you know that there are thousands of different kinds of birds living in hundreds of other habitats? The chart on the next page shows a few others that you can look up on your own. Remember, no matter where you live, your neighborhood is a bird habitat. Borrow a pair of binoculars. Look out the window or take a walk. You are sure to see a few feathered friends, or perhaps even a flock of feathered friends. Birds are one of the easiest wild animals to observe on our planet, and they are fascinating to learn about. So why wait? Become a bird watcher today. Glossary Adaptation A feature that helps a living thing survive where it lives. Bird A warm-blooded animal that has feathers, wings, two legs, and a beak. Environment The conditions that surround someone or something. Grub The young form of a beetle that often looks like a caterpillar. Habitat the place where a plant or animal lives. Tropical, lying on or near the equator. <laughs>